Um, I would say one of the things to know is that historically, most studies have only used um, male rodents in preclinical models or even just basic research studies of the brain. And we know that the brain actually goes through a sexual differentiation process. We also know that the brain can be affected by different levels of um, steroid hormones, um, things like estradiol and testosterone. And so there are sex differences in the brain. And we've really neglected studying them because we've really only looked at male brains. And I think part of that is because um, we thought maybe sex differences were more important for reproductive behaviors. Um, but it turns out that there are sex differences in many brain regions not involved in reproduction. And understanding these sex differences is probably really important just from a basic biology standpoint, but it's important in brain regions that are linked to different psychiatric disorders or, or neurodegenerative disorders. Um, because it might suggest that um, the processes by which these disorders occur might vary a little bit between males and females. And it also has implications for drug development if the kind of mechanisms that are changed in disorders in males and females are different. We need to take that into consideration if we're going to develop drugs that work well in men and women. <laughs> 